2021 Prius Prime all-wheel drive XLE and I don't know how many more things they could add on it but this is an all-wheel drive Prius Prime that I was really surprised about I remember hearing about them I may have done one before I can't remember but this is definitely standing out uh, one thing you may notice so right now I hooked up I'm checking my gauges before I actually I had it down for a second then I go wait a minute I want to show everyone on video because I keep getting new subscribers and they miss stuff especially with when they purchase gauges digital gauges all gauges well you can't do this on analog gauges so here's something you cannot do on analog gauges you cannot check the leak rate under vacuum of your analog gauges because the needle doesn't even move or show you an exact down into the micron so as you can see we're down into 78 microns right now something that if it went from 78 to 1000 microns 78 to 5000 microns would make a difference a analog gauge needle would not even move the human eye could not even perceive it so you can't even tell that there's a small leak or excessive moisture analog gauges that was great for your great grandfather back in the days when you crank start your model a but we move on beyond that so i'm testing they're not down yet you can see they're still far up they haven't been screwed down so it's not attached to the system so right now i'm going to now attach the system because i know the capability i have no leaks at any of the fittings my hoses anything here i know what it's capable of doing before it's attached to the system so i should know what it's capable of doing after it's attached so let's attach it so now we're going to draw down a vacuum on the system itself very lightly you see this how light this is you never crank just touch and um and that's it it's now drawing a vacuum we're getting down there really fast preparing to recharge this uh 2021 all-wheel drive prius prime but let's make some notes here some things you'll notice this is really good for you guys who live in really hot areas is insulation on your suction line so you see right there on the suction line right there see the aluminum that absorbs heat when this hood is closed and you're in Arizona, you're in Texas, you're in Dubai, Saudi Arabia, anywhere, anywhere it's really hot. Your underhood temperatures climb way above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Between the heat of your condenser, the heat of the radiator, the radiant heat off of the exhaust manifold that's right there in the back. Now the exhaust manifold is right by that section line here. This is the section line with insulation on it, right where you see all that that is the suction line so that suction line is right in line sight back there of the hot radiant heat off the back of the aluminum head and the exhaust manifold and when you have radiant heat whatever it strikes it heats up so the last thing you want to do is add more heat to your suction line make your superheat higher and you don't want to try to cool off your engine compartment so if you're in really hot climates, adding some insulation over your suction line is just that little extra bit of help to make it a little bit more efficient. That's one thing you can do. Uh, what else there? Okay, so that's, that's enough on this. I just wanted to show you the difference between testing your gauges and then hooking up to the system always make sure your system can pull down way below where you want to get your vehicle in the first place so you know if it doesn't get there it has nothing to do with your hoses or your gauges or your fittings or anything like that and then attach them all right i'll catch you guys on the next one when we fill this up and yeah, my oil is starting to get a little bit cloudy here just a little bit not too bad probably by the end of the day like usual, it'll get a little more cloudier and I just switch it out and change it. It's that easy. All right, see you guys.